welcome to the next video in the leader's pathway where we're going to talk about the most important thing that a leader does. Now, if, if you asked some leaders what they thought the most important thing a leader does is, they might say some version of get things done. A leader get, gets things done, gets the job done. Another leader might say, actually, that's not what a leader does. That's the job of a worker. The job of a leader is to get people to get the job done. And what I want to do today is talk about an idea that I've been just exploring recently because of the Craig Leadership Leadership Podcast that I've been asking you to subscribe to. Craig says something pretty interesting. He says that the most important thing a leader does is develop people. So I want to just add to that, and I've got some notes here. I'm just going to refer to them just as I'm going through this. I would say that the most important thing a leader does is develop people who get the job done. So in other words, not just getting people to get the job done, but investing in people, developing people who get the job done, not just to get the job done. So, so even developing people is not a means to an end in itself. It's that the people that you're investing in and developing will actually go ahead and do the work and not just do the work, but go far beyond where you were aiming if you're only trying to get a particular task accomplished. So I want to just talk about three, three kind of things that we can do to help develop people. But before I get into that, I just want to ask you this question. Um, if, if the most important thing is developing people and you're a leader in Manifest, then the question becomes, who are you developing? So just take a minute to think about that. Who are you developing? If, if you're in Manifest Kids, you, your immediate thought might be, oh, I'm developing the kids in my group. And, and that there's truth to that. You're teaching, you're, but actually, your greatest investment beyond actually, you know, teaching those kids about Jesus and all that, it might be seen as developing the helper that you have. Maybe the most important thing you can do for Manifest Kids is develop your helper. So if you're a worship team leader, uh, what does that mean? It might mean that the most important thing you do isn't actually leading worship. It's developing the people on your team. If you're, you know, on sound, you're on the sound team. If you're, what does it mean to be a leader? It means we develop people. That's the most important thing that we do. Now, depending on the role, it might take some thinking to go, well, who, who are my people? How do I develop them? But every single leader in Manifest, I'm asking you to take some time as you're watching this video and even as you reflect on this video to answer the question, who are my people and how can I develop them? Now, there are three things, three things that I want to kind of explain to you that, that are going to come really helpful in terms of developing people. Three things, okay? Number one, we're going to give people a path to explore their potential. Number two, we're gonna empower them to take leadership. And then we're gonna celebrate, or sorry, empower them to take ownership and then celebrate their progress, okay? We're gonna give them a path to explore their own potential. We're gonna empower them to take ownership and then we're gonna celebrate their progress. Those are the three things. Let me just unpack that really briefly. So how do we give people a path to explore their potential and develop their potential? Well, I, I think the simplest way to look at this is to, we, if you give someone a problem to solve or an idea to explore and let them run with it and see what they do, right? So, so you might give someone a problem to solve and they go off and fix it or they might just sit on it and never do anything about it. That gives you an idea of where they're at in their journey and maybe how you can develop them to take the next step, so just seeing what they do with this idea. Um, the idea here is that when you're serving at Manifest, it's not just in or out. I got an email. It's not just in or out. Like I'm in the team and I'm out. This is, this is a journey. This is a process. We're developing. So if they're making the effort to, de to develop, develop themselves, to invest in their own development, that's a really good sign. And, and it's a sign that they're where they should be and that you're doing a good job developing your people. Obviously, if, if you're trying to help someone take initiative and take ownership by giving them a problem to solve and they don't do anything with it, they may not be in the right place, right? That, that could be an option. But by and large, people are going to 
grab hold of things and if you've picked the right task for them to accomplish where they have to make their own decisions to, to solve the problem and, and they step up to the plate, you know, you've got a winner in your hands and it's, it's a sign that the pathway to develop their, their potential has begun. So the second one is how can you empower them to take ownership? Well, it, it begins with the pathway. So that's, that's why I started with that one. If there's no sense of pathway for them, then why would they invest in their development? Because there's no path. They see their job as a static role. I perform this function. I don't add value, I do my job. But our job as a leader is to develop them, which means no matter which job they're doing, we have to create a path that path could lead out of that job, that job, that path could lead to creating an even better expression of that role, but there has to be a path. So that's where it starts. The second piece is that we're looking for ownership, not buy-in. Buy-in implies that I've sold you something and we've, we've got an, an agreement and they're just, they're, again, they're doing their job. They bought in. There's some enthusiasm there, but that's way different than taking ownership of something. So to get them past performing a function to taking ownership and adding value as a person, we have to move them from just accomplishing tasks to making decisions. Now, some of, some of you might say, well, if they're making decisions, that, make, that means they're the leader. No, it doesn't mean they're the leader. For example, if you worked at WestJet, the, every single employee, whether they're a leader or not, has certain a certain range of freedom where they can make decisions to solve a customer or a guest's issues. Now, when it gets to a certain level, they've got to ask somebody above them for approval, but within a certain range, they get to make decisions. So if your workers on your team or the people you're trying to empower don't have freedom to make any decisions, it means there's no pathway. It means they can't take ownership. All they're doing is performing a function and they're not a robot, they're a person. So we want to grow past that. Now, in the initial stages of Manifest, I want to confess that, that we we're all about, we've got to get this done and we've got to get people to get it done. And, and what I'm sensing is God saying, just back up. We've got people here. And the most important thing that you can do is develop people, right? So um, a good way to get to the, to the bottom of this is ask them. Ask them what's going, you know, what, what they think that they could improve, right? So um, the, the mission and the what is set in stone. They don't get to choose what the team does. But here's how you give someone decisions. You give them freedom to determine how. As soon as you've said how we do it is, is up for grabs as long as we, you know, abide within certain rules and as, as long as the mission is accomplished, go for it and be creative, then people can start making decisions. And if they start making decisions and they take initiative, again, the path is in motion and we can start developing people. So I would say one of the best ways to, to kind of get them engaged and get them owning something is to ask them, how can we make this better? You know that this is what we do at Manifest. We're constantly asking that question. How can we make it better? How, how would you make it better? If you led that game upstairs with the kid, how would you do it? Or, right? And, and some, sometimes they may not have an opinion or don't think their opinion's worth latching onto. But when we actually believe in people and we ask them to contribute, how would you make this better? How do you think we should do it? Um, and if they start to take ownership, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, so that's the, the second one. So how do we give them a path to explore their potential? Right? Well, we give them a problem to solve right? or an idea to explore. Number two, how do we empower them to take ownership? We give them some, a place to make decisions. We allow them to make certain decisions. The what is set in stone. The how is up for grabs as long as it doesn't violate the what and, and the values that we've said that we agree with together. The third one is how to celebrate their progress. And so how do we celebrate, celebrate people's progress? Well, again, we have to get out of the mentality where we're just getting them to perform a function. So we're usually good at saying good job to someone. In other words, you performed your function. That's important so that they know how they're doing. But what we're also gonna look for is how are they doing it better than they were before? Maybe they're doing it faster. Maybe they've figured out a better way of lining up the chairs and which line to measure things off of. Celebrate progress in their ownership and their development 
and, and their ability to make decisions to move the mission forward. Because if they're making progress, again, it means we're developing people, which is the most important thing we do. So um, every step that people take towards getting it, right? They're, they're, oh, you, you're, you're understanding the vision, the mission, the values of Manifest. Affirm that, celebrate that, which means we have to be watching and we have to get out of the perform a function mentality ourselves. So as long as everyone's doing their job and, and everything is running properly, we're, that's great. Instead of looking at how are people contributing to progress, how, how are they shown growth? Find it. Even if it's something tiny, celebrate it. Affirm it. Tell people about it. See, this is what I'm talking about. Do you see how he used to do it this way or she used to do it this way? Now they're doing it this way. Can you see how much better they are? And thank them for growing and being willing to invest in making it better. So, um, I, again, this is the most important thing we do. Now, we're approaching summer. That doesn't mean that we all just relax and forget. And God's not on vacation. The kingdom of God still needs to be built. Manifest is still going to be chugging through the summer. You're still going to have opportunities to invest in people. So in the next two weeks, I want you to take these three things. Okay, so how can I create a path? How can we empower them to take ownership? And then how do we celebrate progress? To take those three ideas and apply it to your leadership at Manifest. Now, if you're a parent... You can apply this to your parenting. So give people, give your kids a path to explore their potential. Give them an, a problem to solve in your home. How do we fix this thing? The sprinkler doesn't work quite, quite right. Or give them an idea to figure out wh where should we go for our holiday or whatever it is, whatever is appropriate for their stage. Give them a path to explore their potential, right? Which means you're helping them take ownership of things. You're saying, how, how should we do this better? How can we, how can you, what do you think we should do? You know, what, what do you get excited about? What bugs you about this? Invite their, their feedback and, and you'll get them engaged in, in what's going on. Taking ownership for your family time, your, your time as a family. And then how do you celebrate progress? Well, every step they take in taking more ownership and more responsibility in their lives, affirm it, affirm it, affirm it. So those are those three things. Uh, the most important thing we do is, as leaders, develop people. How do we do that? We give them a path to explore their potential. And, and then we help them take ownership um, by giving them decisions to make. And then we celebrate every bit of progress. So I hope that helps you throughout the summer and with your home, with your business, all of it, it all comes together because God's pretty smart. So give that to you. Now it's your turn. Take it and start making decisions based on what you come up with. Mm -hmm.